Captain on the bridge. All right, captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, we got some things to go over from the Star Trek Online X feed. So on screen. Yes, captains, before we get into this video, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing here to our YouTube bridge as we're always on the lookout for like-minded captains where we can share our love, our passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now, with that said, here we go. Captains, we got one thing to go over here. So, of course, as we always do, we're going to go over it, drop the two ECs, and then at the end, give our conclusion. So, here we go. The Prodigy Lockbox gives you access to the technologies of the animated Star Trek show. So, this released actually as of the recording of this video Saturday. I don't know why they're releasing this on the weekend, but it's here. So, let's go over it. Nice shot of the Protostar doing its thing there. So the Prodigy Lock Box. So with the Prodigy Lock Box, you can get the technology and friends from the animated Star Trek show. So in the 24th century, the Federation set out to explore the far reaches of our galaxy in hopes of finding other civilizations who share their ideals. Using new technology like those used by the USS Protostar, this is a lock box based on the Star Trek Prodigy animated show. Captains opening the Prodigy lockbox may find themselves fortunate enough to win the Protostar Science Spearhead. No, it has been a long time coming for the ship to come to Star Trek Online ever since the day that we even actually interviewed Ambassador Kale here on the bridge as we asked him at that time and he said there's a bunch of political tape because it was part of Nickelodeon and of course what happened earlier this year where it dropped it and even it was dropped from the streaming service there by Paramount so it's kind of weird nothing then all of a sudden here it's here and so but I know a lot of captains are excited for this and it's here personally it's on the list of my ships to get because it it has the shapes it actually reminds me of a Nova in terms of its shape there but just kind of stretched out a little bit more of the ferrari look to it of course with the whole technology thing of its i mean with the third warp nacelle or whatever they use there the warp drive so it's good it's good for star trek online to have the ship in game now there is there was a comment or comments i've seen when we've been here live on the bridge either on youtube or twitch that a lot of people didn't agree that this ship should be a gamble ship because of how it was tied to a kid's show. I kind of have to agree with them. I get why they did it, obviously, and we kind of knew regardless, but it would have been nice for them to put this in the sea store just to have access to it for those who actually got into Prodigy because a lot of people actually got into Prodigy. I just could not get into it, but there's that. So additional information on the above Starship will be contained in a separate developer blog. So of course, Caps, we will go over that once they drop it. So. Protostar Phaser Weapons, definitely getting a full set of these. 100% getting a full set of these. We already have the Omni Beam, so that is awesome. And usually a full set for me is a is six. So I think if the phasers and the animation of the Omni is the same, we're probably just gonna get five. Usually I get six, but we're probably just gonna get five of the beams and then keep the Omni Beam as well because we got that for free as an event reward. Why six? Because on a cruiser that is a 4-4, I like to have a torpedo four and aft. That's just me. The Protostar Phaser Weapons contains a suite of phaser beams and cannons. Protostar Phasers are equipped with regenerative phaser emitters that can return a small amount of energy back to weapon, shield, engines, or auxiliary power. Interesting. Duty Officers. So Delrel, Delrel. So Del, creative and orthodox approach to tactics allows him to alter the dynamics of your fire at will and attack pattern beta. Look at that, fire will, fire at will, I should say. Fa, possibly getting some love here. So that's good. I do like the look of Fa. Obviously we use that on the tanks to grab everyone's attention on the map, but hey, seems like it's getting 
some love there. And definitely there's some captains asking for, especially Spencer, trying to make Fa great again. I'm probably going to butcher this name. Gwindala? So Gwyn's experience and affinity with watch robots grants a chance to beam down watcher robots when using security team. Sounds fun. Jankum Pog. Jankum Pog can fix it. Jankum Pog can fix it. Your engineering team recharge time and effectiveness are improved. Obviously, these are probably prodigy callbacks, so I'm not really knowing them. Rock Tack. So Rock Tack's enthusiasm for the sciences allowed her to add a chance to add seismic agitation field to your tricorder scans. Zero, your chance to return was low. Our desire to leave remained high. Your evasive maneuvers recharge and effectiveness are improved. So Zero and Delrel. So Delrel is standing out in terms of things we can use in space. So we'll see. Space trait. So whole lot of X's. So you and your crew's quick thinking allow you to avoid disaster some of the time. When your hull is low, your ship will receive a hull and shield heal. Interesting. The old razzle dazzle. When under pressure, your crew comes up with unorthodox methods to temporarily boost system effectiveness. And another space trait, go fast. An advanced understanding of propulsion systems allows your ship to be faster and more agile at impulse speeds. You gain random amounts of power to all systems for a short while after you are critically hit in space combat. So this all seems about speed. And in one of the clips I've seen, the Protostar in its pews was actually against the Federation in the, I think the last episodes of the season one. So it was really portraying it as a really speedy and maneuverable ship. So I see where they're getting their ideas from, obviously. So here's the Watcher. Look at these robots, like scorpions. They look pretty cool. So. It's a kit module. So Watcher Robots. Watcher Robots are autonomous robots created by the Vaunakat. This kit module will spawn three Watcher Robots. Each robot is capable of firing an energy bolt and discharge melee range, an electric shock that can stun targets. Okay. Universal Kit Frame, Tricorder Protostar. The Tricorder Protostar Kit Frame has the additional benefit of being able to perform a stronger tricorder scan. However, it has a longer cooldown than traditional tricorders. Something that we're probably not going to use. Look at these. 2383 Starfleet weapons. Interesting. I definitely do like that rifle. Almost looks like a Nerf gun I've seen in, a, in the stores there in our local Walmart. The Protostar Phaser High Density Rifle and Protostar Phaser Stun Pistol. The personal phaser weapons boast similar experimental technology to the space phasers, regenerative phaser emitters. Protostar phaser ground weapons have a chance to grant weapon proficiency, willpower, kit performance, or personal shield hardness for a short duration. So we might try to get those phasers, because why not? And low buy crystal consortium offering. So we have a melanoid worms. Melanoid worm. So that is Murph. Murph's family right there for sale. Okay. <laughs> Through the low buy store. And I think it was one of the popular characters there on Prodigy was the Murph. So, so Melanoid Slime Worm. This personal companion is a Melanoid Slime Worm. Melanoid Slime Worms are known for being nearly indestructible and ingesting nearly anything and everything. It's believed they are non sentient. However, to bond with other species. Becoming loyal companions, you have a chance to get one of the following. So you get a prodigious pet, a midnight, dusky, sunburst, and plasmic. Wow, prodigious things are what it is. So there you go. That is what is coming with this lockbox. Again, you get the ship, but our of course recommendations, captains, is don't open boxes to get this. Unless you just got to know what you're getting into. Go ahead. If you know what you're getting into, that is your choice. We will open some boxes, but we are going to set a limit and stay within it. Usually about 20, 40. I think I've gone max 60, maybe perhaps 80 in one sitting. But that was it. And have we gotten ships? Of course we have. But again, we went after the low buy and it was a bonus that when we got the ship. So 
If you want this ship guaranteed, if you really are a fan of this ship, what we recommend is buying the keys on sale, putting them on the exchange after the sale, and then rinse and repeat until you have enough EC. Definitely is gonna be 1.5 bill plus, maybe even like 2 billion in trade channels. But guaranteed shot is just do that. Now, again, you can go ahead and gamble, but captains, I've seen captains open 250 boxes plus and get nothing. Nothing except their inventory full of what sort of comes from opening these boxes, which is a lot of sometimes crap and nonsense. So just saying. It's a cool looking ship. There is certain features I like about it. Obviously it has the swept back pylons there. The nacelles actually do remind me of a ship from the Justice Seer. The spearhead actual saucer reminds me of the Prometheus, which is Prometheus is one of our favorite ships. And again, it is a smaller ship, but the overall kind of reminds me of the Nova. Now again, this ship has made my list that we probably would get next year for the event reward so at least we'll have it and again it's a hero ship from star trek online we actually have i think all of it now in terms of the hero ships so it's gonna come in star trek online and i'm pretty happy that it is probably not happy 100 percent of the way obviously the product offering is but it is what it is so captains when we go through our actual blog video of this we're gonna go over the stats and then drop the ec there so do us a huge favor caps why don't we hit that like button comment below let us know what you know what you are excited about in this lockbox if you're gonna get the ship or get some of the other items and then of course let us know your thoughts overall of the upcoming season incursion of course, Captains, again, if you're new here, consider subscribing to our YouTube bridge, and we will leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.